fuck my friendship That guy's on TV, we're on the internet The internet is better and bigger Which means that we are a better show That's how it works, let's go, let's go, let's go We're not beholden to corporate interests We don't work for the NBC We're not beholden to corporate stockholders We're on the internet, ATC and welcome to Success Express, a financial corporatized network trading X communication service that comes to you free every month on the internet, as we mentioned. I'm one of your hosts, Easton the Crispy Crust Kaka Stink Hambone Jr. And with me, of course, is Eric. He's in a good mood. Come He's on. clapping live on. on Twitch. He's killing it right come now. On. The dude is basically leading a nine piece band. Oh, come on! Eric, he's the Wabi Sabi Poppy, the Mind Freak of Finance, a sniper of money, big boy on campus, it, bing bong fuck. It might be sticking. I, it's pretty fun. I love it. Uh, how you doing? I'm good, man. I haven't seen you in a bit. I haven't seen you in one whole day. Oh, yeah. That was yesterday, huh? We were walking outside of Porto's. Big we uh, Cuban pastry and sandwich shop. Porto's is really good. Not sponsored by Porto's, uh, Porto's today, I don't think, uh, unless I'm wrong about that, Sean. Are Do we, we have an ad for Porto's, Sean? No. Porto? Okay, great. So not sponsored by Porto's. Uh, of course, Eric is drinking a Diet Coke, one of the healthiest beverages you can possibly consume. It's part of a well-balanced breakfast. What else are you doing in the morning? You got Diet Coke, obviously, first thing, crack it open, wake up. Diet Coke, then diarrhea. Are you saying that you go to <laughs> I have bat- diarrhea. Maybe it's a little early for your morning routine. Maybe we'll come back to this. Well, Seems a little uh, jarring first thing in the morning. But <laughs> Sean is here, our producer. He's he's loose. He's the he's the goose. He's Shawnee Moose, uh, and he's here at ATC Studios. This is in beautiful Burbank, California. It's a great day outside, and I'm delighted to see you, Sean. Uh, I'm, yep. Yeah, uh, sorry, I'm commenting. I'm, How uh, are you? I'm t- chatting to the. How you doing, baby boy? Happy to be here. Happy to see you. If you're just listening to this on your podcast app or whatever the fuck you're listening to this show, we do a live stream every Saturday at 11:15. Right. So for those of you it's happening right now on Twitch, watching this live right now, you're seeing it. It's video. Most it's of better. the jokes, if you're wondering why the thing's not good or funny or If what, you're wondering why our podcast sucks. Yeah, why this audio is all bad and shit. It's because most of the good stuff is on video and right. on Twitch. That and, We have all sorts of magic tricks and cool uh, stuff. People are into it. And on this website, have you heard of the, Have you heard of this website? It's what? called patreon.com slash success express. I love that website. It's one of my favorite websites. On it, you can donate to the show. It's a lot of fun stuff. You really you support us going forward, and not only us, but people who help us, like Lukey Lou, the new Purdue, who's also here. What the fuck is up, Lucas? <laughs> Lucas! What's up, buddy? Buddy boy. I'm doing great, actually. Hey, that's good to hear. Why so great? I was sick all week, but now I get to be here with my best friends, and Aww. that's all that matters. That's pretty cool. He's wearing a mask right now. I believe you just got the booster. Got oh! <laughs> Boost up! <laughs> Boost up! <laughs> Boost up! That's cool, Lucas. You got boosted. Yeah, I lost like 10 pounds. What? <laughs> In how many days? I was like two, three. Was that about five pounds a day or was it like nine pounds one day and then another pound the next day? How'd you know? Yeah, just like that. How did you Because of my morning diarrheas. I like to weigh myself right after. Good transition, Eric. I'm glad that we're back into it. Let's, Let's hear about your morning routine. So, so far what we know is that you'll crack open an ice cold Diet Coke, healthiest beverage, shit's like oxygen. As soon as I wake up. It's a beautiful drink and it uh, it doesn't, I would say it tastes like something, but it doesn't. It's it like chicken. Like, no, it's like minerals. Yeah, you know? yeah, like what they have in the Matrix. When you're sleeping, your mouth is open. You're going <laughs> when you're sleeping, or at least that's how I sleep. Yeah, you sleep and, like a like an injured rhino. Right. Do you know how many air, dust, bone Ugh. spider molecules are all going into your mouth for eight hours straight a lot right a and lot what your body needs like 70 percent of what you're breathing in is that stuff it's spiders and death and a ghost yeah and dust fucking dirt and cat dirt shit Mulch. and hair yeah yeah 
So what you need when you wake up is minerals to replenish yourself. And what does Diet Coke only consist of? Salt. Pure minerals, <laughs> like salt. Just salt. Like sodium. Yes. And also like, um, Corn what's syrup. the other thing that comes with pepper? Doctor. Salt. <laughs> Doctor does come with pepper, but no, I was talking yeah. about salt. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I forgot it was salt also. It's but just yeah, a salt bomb when you wake up. It's, it's the really perfect good thing. It energizes you and it feels like you're breathing in... Uh, the air of a rainforest or something, yeah. right? Doesn't it feel like you're in a garden or something? When I'm flowery... cracking open, when it's 7 a.m. and I'm cracking open a DC, I'm imagining what the Garden of Eden is described yes. like in the Bible. And really then you cool. diarrhea. And, and you then weigh I immediately it. Immediately diarrhea. I, no, no, no. I don't weigh my diarrhea. Excuse me. You weigh yourself. I weigh myself before after, after. Yeah, before and after the day. Okay, that's great. Somebody's, uh, oh, I think Sean is, uh, this is a good reminder here on, on Twitch. He's telling people about Squirrel Hive. And it's important that we talk about that. A lot of people aren't giving them the attention that they're due. But Sean knows more about it than me. Sean, Squirrel Hive is a is a jam band you were telling Eric and, and I about, right? Uh, yeah, I think they're going to be the new fish. Oh my god, the new the fish. New, finally. I've been waiting for a new fish for so long. <laughs> yeah, it's, we're it's due. The we're same kinda, fish. We're kind of due for a new fish, right, Sean? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because, look, you had the Grateful Dead. Sure. Since, like, the summer of love, the 60s, there I was, you know, San yeah, Francisco, yeah. everyone's high, everyone yeah. smells like Bobby, shit. Bobby Dylan is Bobby talking Dilhol about, is you know, the war. Singing about, yeah, protesting and yeah, yes. Joan Baez and, and Black Frank Magic Zappa Woman is uh, Santana's hit. Santana, The Who, yeah. playing Woodstock. Santana's going into pizza places and going, hey, let me just get a slice from Santana. And they go, all right. Okay. That's how awesome it was to be Santana in 1969. There's, I mean, let's be honest. There's no bad time to be Santana, but that's high time for you to be a Santana. That was prime Santana time. Yeah. They should have Santanas in malls instead of Santa. You know? Yeah. That would he be goes, cool. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> he gives you a, yeah. a PRS guitar. <laughs> yeah, everyone gets a PRS guitar. Everyone gets a PRS. Do they? Hooray. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Or maybe it's not on Christmas, so they don't have to. He goes, Jose Feliciano, Merry Christmas. Maybe they don't have to uh, fight each other. You know, we can have like Santana summer. Uh, no, I no. like Santana for Christmas. You like Santana for, all right, let's do it. Yeah. I mean, I, it doesn't affect us either way. Fucking Santana Jews. is Santana is a lot like the uh, squirrel hive. In what way? Because Both Santa. Awesome. And fish like were fish. the behemoths of wow. their respective fields. Christmas and the jam band community. Correct. I'm making a big point here. And I love it. And it Welcome to Eric's big point. My big point is now. My big point is now. Santana, Santana, Santana. Eric's big point. It's Eric's big point. Eric is finally making a point. I can't wait. Santana and Santa, Santana and Santa. I got a point. I got a point to make about these guys. So, yeah, no, go ahead. Huge I'm, in their respective communities. Fish is huge. Santa's huge. And now we have the new fish, Squirrel Hive. Turning of. And the new Santa, Santana. Going from the old guard to the new guard. We got. Mall Santas are now Santanas. Yep. The new fish is Squirrel Hive. One of the greatest jam bands of all time. As far as I'm... I haven't even heard them. Yeah, well, Sean's been talking up a big game. I mean, those are huge words to say they're the new fish. and uh, Those are fighting words. Sean, when are we going to get to hear some of this Squirrel Hive? Because you said that a buddy of yours was able to like steal some basically like record some at a concert and send it to us or what's the well, deal that's sort there? of the fun of jam bands, right, right? You no get to it's record not, it's not shows. anything out of the ordinary you can just hear all their live shows but um no i think okay uh, don't sound like uh <laughs> like i'm an idiot as producer of the show i think in uh in a few weeks maybe uh i, I want to put together a squirrel hive episode put them on blast okay i still don't appreciate the wave I don't appreciate the way you're talking to me. Getting mad at Sean for making Ethan feel stupid. I appreciate that, Eric. You're my best friend. And, uh, <laughs> you're my best friend, too. I feel I so your, fucking I, bad for you, dude. I need I'm you to really back me sorry. Up. I'm, I'm, I got your back, bro. It's 
fucking guy. Sean. Sits there with his fucking knobs on his computer and he thinks, uh, fucking king of the world over here. You, we found him. We plucked him from obscurity. Now he's a now he's a celebrity because of our because of us. Not the first now, time that I met Sean, but it was like the second or third time that I met up with Sean. Yeah. It was two AM and he had his bare penis out and in a gutter. It was squeezed between the bars of a gutter. Was he trying to fuck the gutter or was he just I don't know, passed Eric. out there and his penis was out? I don't know. It's just I had to me and my very responsible CEO friends had to pull him out of the gutter. All got our suits dirty. And he was just yelling, squirrel alive, this is new fish. It's like, I don't know what this means. Gave him a job, dusting him off. Let me hey, clean Gave you up, haircut, get you a haircut. Put his yeah. penis in his pants. I said, well, you want to keep this in here. Certain things go certain places. I have to have this conversation with Sean all the time. You can't leave your penis out of your pants. No, sometimes you, we'll go. What are you selling, hot dogs? We'll go somewhere and go into a big event. Sean will be like, all right, we're here. And he puts the car in park. We're in the middle of the road. Take out his dick. Bunch of cars. <laughs> That's a separate incident. Oh. I'm just saying this is also a situation where he parks the car in the middle of the road. Everybody's honking, beeping. He gets out of the car. He turns it off. I go, Sean, this doesn't go here. It's like a guy from Mars is visiting and he's like our friend. Right. <laughs> but he's been here years now. He was born here. We have to constantly explain to him what normal things are. It's crazy. He went to school. A lot of days he missed, though. He Sean, wasn't did at... you play hooky a lot? Uh, no, I actually had a lot of headaches, so I had legitimate right. uh, headaches he gets. Right, yeah. Then you go to his house. What do you see on the floor? A bunch of uh, balloons. Just like empty balloons on the floor. You're like, huh. And a he big has helium canister. He has these headaches, and then it looks like he's just huffing all these balloons. You're doing whippets all day. Put two and two together. The guy's fucked. Do we have an ad today? Um, I'm not sure yet. Why not? Why don't you know what the show's gonna go? Why don't you know how the show's gonna go? You're the producer. Technically the producer. The producer. You're supposed to know everything that goes on with the show. Why don't you know? Do you have a headache? You have a headache today, Sean? I did when I woke up, but no, no. It's a miracle. Um, well, yeah, let us know if we have any um, sponsors because we definitely need it. Uh, seems I'll like. be honest with you. Somebody says, I'm dancing with my belly out on my porch. So I guess they're having a good time today. Maybe, Sean, you can take a, is that a page girl? out is of that Is that a book. girl? I don't know. It's Excuse me, are you a guy or a girl? What does it matter? What's the difference? If they're dancing with their belly out. I mean, that's legal either way. I was just going to call the cops because I thought it was illegal. Oh, that's a good idea. That's why. Yeah, and give us your location, I guess. Send us your address on Twitch so we can call the cops. <laughs> Appreciate Next episode, it. we call the police. Appreciate that. <laughs> now, We're listen. Gonna, we should do a segment where we prank call the cops. Oh, you want to do that new segment, prank call the cops? <laughs> yeah. I think that would be fun. There's a profession where people can take a joke. The police force. We're going to prank call them. They can take a joke, they understand humor, I'm sure it will be fine. No consequences for your boys, we will have a great time. We're sorry cops, we're gonna prank call you. And you're gonna like it, like it, like it, like it. You're gonna wanna be a guest on the show after we prank call you. So well, you're gonna be our best friend. Friend of the show, you're a cop. If you're listening to this and you're part of the police department and you consider yourself our best friend, please call in. We need some backup. Like I, I think was there's saying. a ton of cops that listen to Success. We're Express. a big cop program, <laughs> big cop podcast, huge in the cop community. 
Detectives on down. I bet you could be anywhere in the world and you, uh, you know, a cop car pulls over, you know, right next to you. Yep. You put your windows down. I think you know what's on playing on the radio. That's correct. Success Express. I was pulled over recently because I was. Really? Yes, I was speeding. I was drunk and I was launching flares out my window. <laughs> what? <laughs> You know a flare gun? Yeah, love like flare if you're gun. Uh, stranded on an island, you need to just you know get an uh, an, air, an airplane to you, something like Movies, that. Movies, it seems like flare guns are literally everywhere. It's everyone has a flare gun. I've never seen a flare gun in my life. Well, I have. I think Citizen Kane had a flare gun. Everybody has a flare gun. Everybody's got a flare gun. And if you don't have one, you can buy one right now. Patreon.com/slash oh. Success Express. Success Express number oh. one cop podcast, new world record. This just did. It's a new world record. Thank you guys so much for listening, all our cop pals, from detectives to the squad leader, uh, to the guy who just presses the cop's clothing. We appreciate you and uh, thank you for listening to the show. Go cops! Now, do I think most police forces should be? completely changed and Re- <laughs> rewired cases, from the ground up yeah some cases eradicated sure you know can we do better absolutely however anyone that enforces the law is an authority figure and they're all fans of this show apparently it's the number one cop podcast so i don't know what we did to deserve you uh we love you over here at success express almost no matter what your job is almost what do you mean by almost uh, just, you know, certain... what jobs do we not appreciate you being a fan of? At uh, I would say Nazi museum curator. <laughs> yeah, we are not fans of you. Also, can't stand by. This is my hot take for the day. Here we go. Eric's hot take. It's 2021. I'm going to look right in the camera. That's your hot take the fucking year. It's 2021. If you're still a Nazi, fuck you. Get over it. That's a hot take. It's 2021. Fuck, Fuck you. you. <laughs> Don't be a Nazi. Being a Nazi truly is lame and old and not cool. Do something better, you know? It's about let's time say, you do something better. Say, Much like fish. I was going to say, fish is yeah, sort of the, the, the third Reich. Right. right. Of and squirrel hive bands. is just kind of cool. It's sort of the cool neo Nazi. I have no problem with neo Nazi. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I do have a very big problem with neo Nazis. But it's a separate issue. But it's different. It's a different issue it's than different. what Nazis. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. So that kind of job, if you're doing that, if you're a Nazi teacher or a, you. if you're a Nazi lawyer, then I, you know. I can't really say that I love having you on the show or some shit. Right. But pretty much everyone else, whatever, cop, you know, veg, uh, Fireman. Uh, veteran, uh, veterinarian. Veterinarian. Awesome. Love you. Welcome to the show. You know Do what we I mean? know any veterinarians we can book? Nazi corn dog manufacturer? <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you. you. Not a fan. No. I hope your podcast app breaks. Water slide attendant? Get Absolutely. On the show. Let's Get go. Get on the show. I'll call you up. Hagen Dawes flavor Get, scientist? I want to call you. Get on Success Express. Just write us. You can be on the show. Love having you around. Nazi cafeteria guy? Nazi cafeteria? Uh, Fuck you. The guy who scoops Yeah, the guy who scoops chili? Nazi chili? Fuck you. Fuck Do you. not come on the show. And fuck that Nazi chili. I'm sick of that on the menu. Yes. Am I right? Every time I go to a deli. Yeah, or a Denny's. I love Denny's. <laughs> obvious. Yeah. But. Who doesn't? I don't want to pay the same price for Nazi chili that it is for chili. You know, it should be less. If I'm buying Nazi chili, it should be half off. Yeah, I don't care that the swastika is made of little shredded cheese on top of the chili. That's cool. It's kind of cool. And honestly, it's pretty sick. Like a Normally, latte, chili like doesn't Nazi come with a design. Walmart. What's up, Sean? Someone says they're a union steward at their job, so thank you. Thank you. Get on the show. That is dope. Come on the show, and uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching on Twitch. We got an ad here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Somebody else is a union concrete finisher. Everyone works at a fucking union that listens to this show? That's incredible. Thank you so much for paying attention to what we're doing here because we're fighting for truth and charity. And we're and, truth seekers is what we are. And philanthropists. What's the ad? We have an ad here for Sour Patch Dads. Sour Patch Dads. All right. Okay. So I guess we'll hear a word from Sour Patch Dads. Uh, thank you, Sour Patch Dads, for sponsoring the show. SPD. Much like your uh, drum machine there. S. 
if SPD S X. Well, I'm talking about Sour Patch Dads. Right. Patch kids are all grown up. Sour Patch kids are all grown up. Sour Patch kids are all, all grown, grown up. up. Sour Patch kids all, all grown, grown up. up. Sour Patch kids all grown up. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Here we go. Remember Sour Patch kids? Remember Rugrats? I do. <laughs> I used to go. <laughs> Me too. I, I, I do that, and I, I watch all that shit in the museum because it's 2085. In 2085, the Rugrats are old men and women, and the Sour Patch Kids are also so old that they have children of their own, and now they're dads. Right. Sour Patch Dads are not sour. No. Sour Patch Dads can be sweet. Sour Patch Dads can be salty. They can be tender, much like a dad. Absolutely. They can be angry at you and disappointed yeah sometimes they won't show up for your gymnastics recital sorry brenda sorry sorry your dad's fucking busy being a sour patch dad he's earning a sour patch living for you and your mother one of the greatest memories that you can have uh cherished memories is taking your first sour patch dad out of the bag and realizing that he's smoking a cigar and he just lost a lot of money betting on the Rams. Yeah, and it's not going to look good for your family for the next couple of months. Hey, speaking of sour shit, remember Warheads? Absolutely. What was that mascot? I don't even know. A That's, bomb? I think it's a big bomb. I think it was a big bomb going on with a weird googly eye face. Kind of a mushroom, mushroom cloud. Woo! Yeah, mushroom cloud uh, mascot. Right. Whose head is exploding because of how sour it is. That's not what Sour, da- sour Patch Dad's is. Or Sour Patch Kids. Listen, we would never make a product that fucked up and crazy. Some of our Sour Patch dads, yeah, sure, they're drunks. Yeah. And they'll try to drive and, you know, they'll treat you like shit. They'll treat everybody like shit. Because really, they're mad at themselves. They're mad at the world because they're mad at themselves. But they don't know how to not, turn inward. But they're not a bomb. And that we want to make very clear. We are a non-violent Sour Dad company. Correct. So buy Sour Patch Dads at Target, CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, KFC. Which uh, stands for Pizza Hut. Chicken, Pizza Hut. California Pizza Kitchen now also serves Sour Patch Dads. Granville Cafe. You can order at Granville Cafe a hot cookie in a cast iron with a bunch of Sour Patch Dads on top. And I would get on top of that deal right now. (laughs) Thank you to Sour Patch Dads. Thank you for that ad. Uh... Sean, did they reach out to you, or how did that work with Sour Patch Dad? Because also the ad just sort of cut off, like the music just sort of stopped, and then the narrator just kept going. Yeah, it was almost as if like they were recording mistake. it on yeah somebody's phone, and then the phone like decided Shut to off. go to sleep. No, I didn't think we had any ads today, and I checked my spam folder. Oh, Sour Patch Dad's went in the spam? Yeah, I don't know why, though. Anything else in the fucking spam? You ever check other inboxes in your email because we got a show, and you got to triple check this shit sometimes? No, just a bunch of fake uh, checks and stuff. He's got a really good point there, Sean, though. Did you hear what Eric said? Because, you know, the sponsorship kind of keeps the lights on. Obviously, people on Patreon supporting the show, that's dope. But Patreon.com. But we need the sponsorships to go through. So if you can check that spam folder, buddy, okay? No, I already did. That's the one that was in there. Okay, don't. Just try, if like, for next time saying, like, sorry, and I love you, and, like, that's on me and like stuff I'm like that. I'm an idiot. You want to try that? Because if I was acting like an idiot, I'd say I'm an idiot. Yeah, Sean, maybe that's what you need is a little example. So let's each kind of be Sean for a moment. Okay. And then he'll see what's how to behave. Oh, all right. Can I go? So you're, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll go. Okay, so you're starting with, turn? as Sean, I guess. Oh, sorry I missed the, oh, sorry I missed the funeral. I, all right, so let's pause it, here a it's second. It's 4 p.m. Let's pause here I a second. Just, this is I great. I wake up at 4. You're doing an amazing... Uh, Sean, I feel like I'm talking to him, mm-hmm. for Thank real. Uh, I want to showcase how to how Sean should behave. 
So oh, let's set up. You should be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'll be me. You be Sean. I'm gonna. I'll set you up with a little situation that we kind of run into all the time. Okay. And you show Sean the ideal Sean Moose behavior. Okay. Action. Hey, then. Hey, Sean. How's it going, man? Good to see you. <sighs> Why? You sound like shit. What happened? Are you tired? I'm just normal, or? Sean. This is me. Okay. I want. Let's reverse this. I want Dream Sean. So you oh, be I get you. It. Okay, I'll be Dream Sean. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. Hi. Hey. hey, Sean. What's up, man? Oh, Ethan. Everything's going great. I love you. I love the show, and I can't wait to record another great episode of Success Express. Thank oh, you. Of course, man. That's awesome. Listen, just one quick thing. Um, oh yeah, you have a note. Yeah, it's not a big deal. Uh, but Please we've been say, getting. Tell some... me anything. I am not sensitive at all. We've been getting some sponsors that I think are going to spam. Or just in oh. a different folder, or I don't texted maybe sometimes because people just do whatever they want. Uh huh. If you could just keep an eye on that, because you know we need to keep the lights on. We need some money on the show. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm a fucking idiot. <laughs> no, it's okay, man. Don't worry. No, about no, no. It. It's okay. I'm a big fucking idiot, it's and I should probably just sit in a corner and not produce the show anymore. I love you so much, and I respect the show so much. The fact that I made it one even one percent worse mm -hmm. makes me honestly just wanna wanna die. And I'm really sorry. Don't worry. And I'm a Sean, fucking idiot. Don't worry. You're not. You're a great dude. Just, you know, like I said, take care of the spam folder. It's not a big deal. And we want you to keep producing the show. So you're one of well, I really appreciate that. I yeah. really need this job. And I love you. And I love Eric. And love um, you too, buddy. I just never want this to end. Really. Okay. I, this is just truly my reason for breathing and, uh, when I wake up. Perfect. Okay. Sean, were you listening to that? Did you hear that? Wait. What? So yeah. Wait. <laughs> this is one of the problems, obviously. You know what that sound means? Tom you know what that sound means? <laughs> that means we've just experienced a worst ten moment for Sean. One of the shittiest things he's done to us on the show. We went into a five-minute bit about how he should act, and then when I said, hey, did you hear that? He said, you wait. He said, wait. <laughs> what are you doing back there? Wanted to give a shout-out to, uh, it's to Lisa, saxophonist who joined oh, us yes. here on the, on the chat, and uh, she does a great cover of A Night in Tunisia that uh, we've... Labeled a night in it's to Lisa. Yeah. Please do something about Sean's attitude. See, Sean, it's not just us. People are fucking freaking out about this. If you're not gonna listen to us, listen to the fan. Um <laughs> we're gonna have to play at some point on here, maybe next episode, uh and by next I mean of course in fifteen minutes or whatever the fuck. Stick around. The double joke every week. Tuned in to Sean's 10 worst moments. It's hard to choose, but. Thank you for that. Uh... That musical sting brought to you by Sean's worst ten moments. Um, Maybe every at the end of every episode we should do number nine. At least one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we gotta do one of <laughs> Sean's worst moments. <sighs> That's a good idea. Um, I want to also tease this out for the next episode. I'm not sure where we're at on time. I seriously am in a GD fog. Are we? Yeah. Are we wrapping here? Yeah. Okay. So I want to give a tease for the next episode. Eric, last night I saw Hamilton. Have you seen Hamilton? No. Okay, this is going to be a perfect dynamic then, because I think, profit-wise, we can make a bunch of Hamiltons. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. We pick a historical figure. It can't be that hard. Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Gandhi. Button. Whatever. Benjamin Button. Some historical figure. Sonic the Hedgehog. Jaws. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and we rap about it for three hours. <laughs> three hours? Is that long? Pretty much. There's an intermission, but that's, yeah, it's a longy. That sounds hard to. It's gonna be watch. hard, buddy, but we can accomplish it if we just stick to 
the principles. Rap for three hours, historical figure like Luigi. That's it. Jeff Ross. We're going to clean house, buddy. I'm telling you, everybody there was freaking out. They loved it. Did you love it? I kind of did love it. Okay. People rapping for three hours? It's pretty cool. It's like a Jay-Z CD, and then there are two more CDs. And it's all about... History. Yeah, fucking Congress. George Washington. It's kind of cool. It's a pretty hot take. You think Hamilton is I good? I think Hamilton is good. Tune in next week for our version of Hamilton, or for those of you on Twitch, about 10 minutes. Scrambleton. Success Express presents Scrambleton. Scrambleton. Stay tuned. Live streamers galore. Goodbye.